Interest in the unearthed Great Crossings Bridge continues to grow here along the banks of the Yakigani River Lake, but now the Army Corps of Engineers is out with a word of warning. The foot traffic on the 200 year old bridge has called into question its structural integrity. Barriers and signs were put up over the weekend. Visitors are also advised not to boat underneath the bridge. Vince Klinkner, Supervisory Natural Resource Manager at Yakagani River Lake, explains, quote, thousands of people have come to visit the bridge and the response has been overwhelmingly positive, end quote. Families like the Falcones and the Owaks took advantage of a day off from school to get a glimpse into the past. It was surprising. I mean, it's you you know that the lake was flooded, right? And there was a town there, but until you see it firsthand, it's um, it's really something. Yeah. In shock, definitely, because we were we were here uh, in June uh, through Deep Creek, and there was still a lot of water here. It's really cool to see the bridge because, I mean, like you said, it's so old and it's still standing. In the statement from the Pittsburgh District of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Colonel Nicholas Melling says, quote, the district understands the enthusiasm surrounding this rare opportunity to view a piece of history. However, the safety of our visitors is our top priority, end quote. Still, some couldn't resist taking a step out on the bridge. I'm a bit of a rule follower, so I didn't like going on there. <laughs> I went a little bit, maybe 20 feet. Along with seeing the bridge, you can also see the historic town of Summerfield. Reporting from Yakigani River Lake in Somerset County, Jill Swed, Pittsburgh's Action Weather.